We all know that Kevin Durant is one of the greatest scorers of all time, if not the greatest, and there's not one way to slow him down. And even though the stat line shows that KD scored 48 points on 17 for 36 shooting, Drew Holiday played a major part in helping the Bucks advance. So what really happened? For most of the game, Drew Holiday was assigned to James Harden, who was clearly not 100%. As a result, he played center field for most of the game. Here, Durant runs a pick and roll in the middle of the floor and look how far Holiday is playing away from Harden. This was fine as Bruce Brown sets the pick away from Holiday and Durant drills the jumper. Next possession down, the Nets cleared the left side of the court and the Bucks adjust by having Lopez step up, but KD is too good and hits the three. But when the Nets tried running any action in the middle of the floor, Holiday was there to disrupt it. Here, Bruce Brown is forced to make a play and eventually travels. When Durant tried to shoot, Holiday used his lane to disrupt the shot and trusted that his teammates were going to rotate properly. And this eventually made the Nets offense really stagnant, especially with the hobbled Harden on the floor, which meant KD tried going away from Holiday for most of the game. Compare this to Middleton, who's not aware of what's coming. It doesn't help as Durant comes around the screen and he gets an open three. And so when Holiday was the primary help defender, Durant again goes to the left side of the floor where Holiday can't do as much and he found a lot of success there. Like here, Steve Nash sets up a great inbound play where Brown receives the ball and flows into a dribble handoff for Durant with a lot of space to work with and he scores. And next time down, the Nets run the same play again and Tucker picks up his fifth foul. So when Tucker was out of the game, Holiday was assigned to guard Durant. And this is when KD tried going into the post since he has a 9 inch height advantage and 35 pound weight advantage. However, Holiday is one of the strongest players in the league and doesn't get back down easily. Here you can see Brooke Lopez say, help there, help out, help out, since the Bucks are anticipating that the Nets are trying to go to the KD Holiday post up. He's telling Giannis to come help on the spin, which he does on this play. And here Giannis forgets to come help and Durant is able to score on Holiday. But notice how hard he has to work to get to where he wants since Holiday uses his left arm to get into his airspace and make life difficult. So how did Kevin Durant counter this? The next time he's in the post, he swings his arm which gets called a foul and gets him two free throws. This is what makes guarding someone like Durant so difficult since there are so many little things to think about. Since Holiday picked up his third foul, the Bucks decided to assign Middleton to Durant which was very unsuccessful to say the least. For the most part, Durant was able to blow by him almost every single possession or get to his spot. I counted 7 possessions where Middleton was the primary defender on Durant and he went 3 for 4 with 8 points and a turnover. And to be honest, even the turnover was questionable as it looks like Middleton got Durant's arm more than the ball. Which takes us to the last couple minutes of the game. The Nets assigned Durant to Drew Holiday since he was struggling and Durant basically dares Holiday to shoot here but he drains it which got him going. With the shot clock at 5, Holiday steps back and drains the 3 on Harris and then on the next possession down, he attacks Harden with the pick and roll and drains the baseline jumper to put the Bucks up 4. And in the huddle and the Nets down 4, Nash tells Durant, you have room so move and pass it, which indicates probably some sort of isolation play. And as the ball gets thrown in, you can hear, snaps it in to Durant. and Durant is able to get to his spot and drills the jumper over Tucker. And after Bud draws up a genius play where Brooke Lopez comes off a curl and they have a shot clock violation, you can see Kyrie say, it's all you have, it's all you, which sets up what happens next. As Durant catches the ball, he sees Holiday creeping, so he spins back and you know the rest. Unfortunately for Nets fans, it was a 2 since Durant had basically expended all of his energy by that point. In overtime, and for most of the game, his teammates had never really helped him. Here, as the Bucks miscommunicate, Harris misses a wide open 3 which he was missing all game. Here, on this one, James Harden has a 1 on 1 with Brooke Lopez, but decided to pull it back out and shoot a tough contested 3. And after Durant beats Milton again and Lopez comes up with a great block, Harris misses another wide open three, which sets up the final possession of the game and the matchup we all wanted, KD against Drew Holiday. KD again tries backing Holiday down, but he can barely move him, and he spins and fades away, but he misses by a lot. I didn't understand why Nash didn't tell Harden to set his screen and try to get at least Holiday behind Durant or get Middleton on him, which could have given KD a better shot. 
But regardless, the Bucks are moving on after being down 0-2 in the series. And I hope you guys got a better understanding of why I believe the KD Holiday matchup is must-see TV and why these two great players have such a great respect for each other's game. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.